Um, so the immune system um, is, is beautifully complex. And I would venture a guess that if anyone ever tells you, I fully understand the immune system, they are either being ignorant, arrogant, or they're lying to you. Um, it's so complex. It's wonderful, it's beautiful, it keeps us safe, but it is super complex. Um, sort of what I like to think that how we understand the immune system. Um, think about like a symphony, like with the, the clarinets and the violins and the drums and the trumpets, and then there's the conductor, right? Um, we know a lot about the immune system. I know the sheet music for the trumpet player. I know where everyone sits. But if you ask me to sort of conduct the symphony perfectly, knowing where everyone sits, the trumpet player's music and the clarinet player's music, I'm not going to do a very good job. So we do know a lot, a lot, a lot, but there's still a lot we don't know. And so some of these sort of side effects we think are due to sort of the immune system attacking something that's not supposed to. So um, there has been some signal that in some folks that getting the vaccine also sort of will sort of cause what we call pericarditis um, or just inflammation of the heart muscle. Um, it is my opinion that again, going back to sort of the number of vaccines given to the number of cases that we've had, that your risk of having that complication from COVID is actually much higher. And so I'm not saying that there aren't reports of it or that it doesn't exist, but there are more sort of uh, cases that people get COVID and then sort of have those cardiac complications. And so that part concerns me more because not only could you have the cardiac complications, you could have the breathing problems. You could have the thing that no one really talks about a lot. We talk a lot about how many people die and that sort of thing, but we don't talk about the long-term complications, the people that can't taste anymore the people who have like these chronic fatigue syndromes that can't get out of bed, like that sort of thing, there's no way to track those numbers. And so we're missing tons of people who are having terrible complications, life altering complications that we're not really including in the numbers as well as I would like. Um, it's hard because it's really energy intensive and expensive and we have limited research funds to get those stuff done. So again, I'm not saying that it doesn't exist, but my opinion is is I'm much more scared of the virus because that's also a known side effect of that and your risk of that is higher from, in my opinion.